Hey everyone, T-Rex here. With the new expansion for Kerbal Space Program just over a month away from release, I thought I'd start a new tutorial series to help introduce new players to the game. It can be quite a steep learning curve if it's not a game you're used to playing. Um, today I'm going to show you how to mod the game first of all, because it is a game that was pretty much born to be modded, and there are many, many, many mods out there for all sorts of things. Now I'm really hoping this will still be relevant after the expansion is released and modding isn't hopefully broken again. With most major patch updates of the game it has a habit of screwing with the mod settings and a lot of mods have to sort of be tweaked by the creators but that's going to be a problem for another day anyway. Let's get back on topic. So there are two methods to installing mods for Kerbal Space Program. You can manually do it, or you can download a program that does it for you. I will cover both methods, though I personally recommend the latter, as it tends to reduce problems when modding the game, usually. So, method number one, manually installing the mods. For this example, we will be installing a simple mod, Kerbal Engineer Redux. There are a few places online where you can find most mods for the game. The three most common are CurseForge, GitHub, and SpaceDoc the links of which you will find in the video description below. On top of uh, installing Kerbal Engineer, we will also be downloading something called the Module Manager, which aids in uh, packaging together multiple mods in the game and getting everything running smoothly. So we'll get that first. So when you Google Kerbal Space Program Module Manager, your top link should be a Kerbal Space Program forum post which should have the up-to-date version of it. Now the module manager is a simple DLL file and if you scroll down through the post you should find the file. Now the most recent version is module manager 0.3.0.1.dll so we're going to download that. You want to keep it. Sometimes uh, Windows 10 can throw up a warning for that, so just disregard it. So you want to take your module manager file, cut or copy it, and then you want to put it in the game data folder in your Kerbal Space Program directory, which is wherever you've installed the game. For me, it is not in the default location because I am using a partitioned hard drive and I've got my game split over a couple of different hard drives. So you go into your Steam directory, Steam apps, common, Kerbal Space Program, and it's in your game data folder you want to put it. Now, I already have it in there because I have already installed and tweaked with a few mods just to make sure that everything is still right with the game on my system. But that is where you would paste it there. This is also the folder where you'll be installing all mods as well, um, whether manually installing them or using a program. So the mod we're going to install is called Kerbal Engineer Redux. And here it is on CurseForge, Kerbal Engineer Redux. So we're just going to hit download. And it should pretty much download straight away after the little countdown is done. There we go. Go to your download and you will need to unpack it as well. It comes in a zipped format. So I stick all of my packaged mods into a individual folder. Now I do already have it here, but for the purpose of showing you guys how to install it, I'm just going to redo it. So you put your folder where you want it to go and you will need to program like WinRAR, for example, to unpack it. I use WinRAR. So you extract your folder here, which basically unpacks what was in there, and also give you the readme file, the license file, and the change log, and also a folder that says Kerbal Engineer. Now that is what contains the mod, so that is the mod in that folder. So you want to cut or copy it, and paste it into your Kerbal Space Program game data folder. So Steam apps, common, Kerbal, game data, paste. And that's it, that's the mod installed. So once you run the game, Kerbal Engineer will be running on there. 
Now for other mods, it can be more difficult to install and it is usually mentioned in big bold letters to read the instructions when installing them. The instructions are usually in the form of a readme. They are also usually on the web page you are downloading the mods from. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, I was purely showing how to install a simple mod. If required, I can definitely do a tutorial on how to install more complicated mods later on but honestly most of the major ones that most people tend to use are quite simple like this one and don't require a lot of delicate unpacking. What I'm going to show you next is the other method of installing mods which is using a third party program called CCAN. So if you just google CCAN, so C-K-A-N, first link should be the releases page on github for it and you want to download ccan.exe which is the executable. Now if you're in a normal country with decent internet speeds that should download instantaneously as it's only six megabytes but I live in Australia and we have rubbish internet so it takes me a couple of seconds. Lovely. So there we go. Downloaded and then you want to cut or copy it not into the game data folder for Kerbal. You still want to go to Steam Apps, Common, Kerbal Space Program, and then you want to stop. You are putting CCAN in the main Kerbal Space Program directory, not the game data folder. So it needs to be in the same general folder as the launcher application for the game. It will not work otherwise. And then what you want to do is double click on it and run it. and it'll quickly do its load up thing where it connects to the internet and connects to all of the various modding sites because it basically allows you to remotely download and install mods so the internet is required for this to work as it is required for downloading mods in general but a stable steady connection is required and here is the CCAN application so lots of information here you have the name of the mod the author the installed version, the latest version of the mod and its max Kerbal Space Program version compatibility and its download size and a description of the mod. So we will install another simple mod just to give you an idea of how this works. So what we're going to install is something called the docking port alignment indicator, which is here as highlighted. And in the description, it'll tell you a bit about the mod. So the docking port alignment indicator is designed to help you to dock manually by presenting target alignment and relative position in a clean and intuitive manner. Exciting. So if you want to install it, double click, apply changes. Yep. Then you want to go down to the bottom right here, apply. It'll install. And it also recommends other mods that go along with it as well. Um, we're not going to worry about that for the moment. We're just going to install docking port on its own to untick that if you don't want that mod. And here it is being downloaded and then installed. And there we go. It is now installed. So if you want to filter your mod order by what is installed, you click on installed there and all of your installed mods will be at the top. And that's basically all you do. Now certain mods do have dependencies which means other mods need to be installed for your mod to work. Um, this applies obviously when you're either manually installing it or installing it with CCAN. Um, if you're manually installing, very important to read all of the instructions and important information about the mod and make sure you know what other mods you need to install. Um, when you install it through CCAN, if your mod has any dependencies, it will automatically add that dependent mod onto the download list as well. So you may want to install one mod, but you may end up installing six because it has five other dependencies. Um, this can be the case with certain um, overhaul mods and certain graphical mods as well, like EVE, which requires things like Copernicus. So just something to bear in mind. 
But the process is basically the same with CCAN. You find the mod you want, you tick it, hit apply change, and install. And that in a nutshell is how you install mods for the game. Quite simple. You either manually download and install it, or you download and install CCAN, and you get it to install the mods for you. Hopefully, it should work out well, and your game won't be broken when you run it with the mods. Which is why I tend to recommend CCAN, because I get a much higher success rate with running the game smoothly and properly when I install the mods through that. And it also warns you if there are any mod clashes as well, which is something very important to take note of if you are installing a lot of mods. Um, however, for the time being, I won't, because for the uh, rest of this tutorial series, I will be running the stock Kerbal Space Program game with only minor utility mods installed and graphical mods installed, as I will be doing a stock tutorial series first before we do a modded series afterwards. But more of that to come in the future. For now, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it was moderately helpful. Please leave any feedbacks in the comment section below and let me know if there's anything that I didn't explain very well or anything you want to explain further and I'll be happy to either reply with a direct comment or I might even post a follow-up video if it is a really important matter that I think needs to be discussed further as well. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.